me shit. Did you just say record? I, I believe so, yeah. <laughs> like cord is the other thing you do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcome, Basement Dwellers, to another episode. You're here with me, Brady, your anime guy. I'm hosting today. We have Jace, he's your gamer, and down on the bottom where he belongs, we have your dice rolling dungeon master. Uh, last time we talked a fair bit about min-maxing and Assassin's Creed, because that's all the rage right now, and for some reason there's about... It was all the titles. rage. Yeah, no one cares Was anymore. all the rage. No one gives a shit anymore. <laughs> no, because there's a new rage. There's a new all the rage in town. There's many rages. Th there are at least <laughs> three rages. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, now let me bring up the rage list. The rage <laughs> you forget what, <laughs> what we're raging about. <laughs> we were talking about moving home. I've forgotten about everything prior to that. There has been a lot of discussion tonight, but That's one of the uh, one of the most exciting to me is. Dun, 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 a game that's 25 Why years you old. Do the 007 theme. Why I couldn't you... remember exactly who it was. <laughs> you remember what it is? Bond. He's James Bond. <laughs> Shooting guys. <laughs> healing bills. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> so they're like, Doo. it's Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, yeah. That was it. This is it. quality bitch. content right here. Nailed it. Nailed it. Bunch of dudes uh, singing in full set over <laughs> the wrong theme song. <laughs> what do you mean wrong theme song? Nothing's that, wrong. That was <laughs> note for note exactly the yeah. theme song. You could be the next Bond girl for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> I can see it I now. <laughs> Bond ready. <laughs> for someone so descriptive, that was a fucking woke take. <laughs> Jace is the next Bond girl. <laughs> How's that woke? I can be a mm. Bond girl. Yeah, he can be whatever he wants to be. My mum said I could be whatever when I grow up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> fucking hell. She shouldn't have. <laughs> what, what I'm talking about is... <laughs> what I am talking about is not the OG uh, cartridge version of this game, which... Whoosh, cartridge. For all you, all you uh, kids out there, that's what we used to use. Uh, we're talking about the, the remake slash... It's a remake, remaster yeah. slash reboot slash re up of GoldenEye 007 that's coming only to Switch and Xbox Game Pass, by the way. So everyone else misses out in the world. And it's also not in the way that you think it is <laughs> at all. That was the worst <laughs> I know. I've ever heard. Well, it's like, the I've worst release seen, ever as well. So I, I've seen Brady's <laughs> Instagram posts and you managed to top that. What, I, what I'm trying Thank to you. say is. It's not a remaster. It's not anything like that. And it's totally different in the Switch version and the Xbox version. So it isn't what you expect it to be. So there was a leak a fair few years ago. I can't remember exactly. I won't put a date on it, but it was a fair few years ago. A leak came out that people were working on a, a full re-up of GoldenEye 007. So a remaster from ground up. And it was going to have the same thing that the old Halo remakes had where you could press a button and flick back to the old school and then press the button again. It would seem seamlessly flick through to the, the new version. Yeah. That's not the version we're getting for these releases at all. Um, so Nintendo pulled it. Uh, it was, it was apparently going to come out in 2021 and then Nintendo pulled it and said, no, you don't have, you do not have the right. You do not have the right. And uh, instead they we're getting these two releases. So one for switch, one for Xbox the one for Xbox is a 4K version of the old GoldenEye 007 in, in every way, shape, and form. The one for Switch is the one that will have online multiplayer available. So the Xbox does not, yet Switch, oh. for some reason, does have online multiplayer. The That's... fuck? And so no also, one can work out exactly why that is a thing. But I, I'm betting that this has to do with Nintendo because... Nintendo have the weirdest part in all of this. Yeah. So Rare, as we know, they made the original. Um, Rare are also the people who did like Donkey Kong and shit. They were like Nintendo's number one third party during the Nintendo 64 and SNES eras. Rare are now owned by Microsoft. They do Sea of Thieves now. Like so that, that's, that's what's their happened. Thing. And so rare would probably have either the source code or they might have 
like partial licensing rights because it is technically their game, even though it was published by Nintendo. The problem is that it was published by, by Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah. Who are the <laughs> fucking worst. Yeah. Genu- no, Sony's the worst, but Nintendo uh, are a close second. So, so, yes, yeah, so this yeah. is going to be a rough one. I think it's going to flop on its ass a little bit to start with. And I think everyone who doesn't have a Switch you is going to be like, why can't we have our online multiplayer? And then they're going to end up conceding to it and probably releasing it. Okay, you say that, but I have a, a bit of a counter argument there. Mm. 90s kids right now are fucking obsessed with everything nostalgic to them. Oh, yeah. I anything. always have been. Yeah, same. Yeah, most of us have been because it was the best fucking decade, right? But we are pretty bad for it and it seems to be extremely raging right now. Like I'm seeing like 90s cons and fucking 90s concerts and like a lot of this shit happening right now. And you're talking about 007, so... Yeah, it's going to be huge, but the fact that that people are going to be watching people play on Switch online and like that is just epic as opposed to, you know, having to sit in the same room with your friends. Like, yeah, I I don't have that many real friends. And like, you know, the old split screen thing again, like seriously, that was the one thing that I think everyone's been looking forward to with Goldeneye 007 is no screen sheets yeah. again. You know what I mean? So for that, I don't know, like, I think it's going to be awesome to like, play it again. Don't get me wrong. I will play it, but I would really enjoy the online multiplayer. Luckily, I got so myself it, a Switch recently. <laughs> a lot of 90s <laughs> kids also have kids. So a shitload of 90s kids have a Switch in the house um, and they can't invite their mates over to have a bunch of beers and fucking play the game. So they're just going to play it at the end of the night when the kids go on to bed. I think you might be underestimating. I'm, when I'm, you say this is going to flop on release, I actually think it's going to go pretty fucking gangbusters. Yeah. Um, I, I think I said it the wrong it'll, way. I think it'll be a fast It'll go wave. nuts though. It'll, yeah. it'll like... Yeah. I As also think off. that you might be overestimating the amount of people that have children because I believe our generation is actually one of the lowest reproducing of any generation of like... It is, but it's but still... all the same, people do need yeah. more than 50 Population increase. That, and, like... But like, I think there is one key takeaway from this. I didn't really like Goldeneye all that much, aside oh, from... Damn just like playing multiplayer with mates was all right yeah but the nintendo 64 controller was so fucked that was jacked as i think i've got one right here <laughs> so dumb. Yeah. it was better was than sitting in the room when they were like <laughs> i've got this idea and everyone was no, like, well, That's like a come good on idea. okay so that's some dusty shit <laughs> it, it has more potential than the original playstation controller for first person shooters because I don't know if you guys ever played shit like fucking Siphon so Filter when you could go into yeah. first person mode. Yeah, and you didn't even uh, have Medal a Medal of uh, Honor, the original. That was yeah, fucking... you didn't have a joystick. Yeah, yeah, pre joystick. Yeah. That shit was fucked. So it's better than that, but it's not great. No, um, just the the fact that you're holding it all in one side of like the control. You know, like basically this whole side that is completely irrelevant at that point. Why? Which, which which is funny, that, three, you know what I mean? The like, three prongs why yeah for that third <laughs> hand you know like it says yeah <laughs> it, it's a it is a very bizarre concept so you're but, really only sticking to one side of the control like the whole time which is funny though because realistically you should have been all on the left side with golden eye should have used the d-pad for moving around and the thumbstick to aim which i don't think you did did you no, so in in Goldeneye, you actually use use this bad boy for aiming and moving. This one you use for for like strafe, yeah. strafing, like left and rights yeah. and stuff That's like that. That's fucking stupid. So, yeah, I mean, it the sounds stupid when I say it out loud, but it's completely natural to me because I played so much Goldeneye. So, but in <laughs> saying that. that as well, this predates console first person shooter like it was one of the originators of the first person shooter on console yes yeah so I was gonna like, say on console yeah absolutely you, you can totally forgive it because they'll make their own know rules. What to do. yeah it, it's like you know we might have had it on pc for years and years but we went through hell in that process too 
Because mm. like Doom sure as shit didn't use a mouse no, to start off no, with. It wasn't great. No. Yeah. No. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. No, it, yeah I'm, tap, I'm super hyped for it. And you're really, 90 degrees yeah. left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm super hyped for, for this game. Um, I just think that. It's mm. just frustrating that there's two different versions coming out basically, and one's just going to deny you all of the online access, which is just just seems like a dick move. But you know, yeah, I've got the Switch, I... so I'll play it there maybe as well as on the Xbox just to see if there's any you know noticeable difference. But both. I think right, Microsoft will probably fight for yeah, I know, right? and I think Microsoft will probably fight for the online access and win eventually. So we'll see. I'd say so, yeah. Yeah, I they got the too, yeah. So, um, so I just yeah. got a couple things on that before we move on from 007. Uh, first, like you were saying, Jason, they were the first or one of the first. So that, mm-hmm. so I think that upgrades that a little bit. It doesn't just mean like it was shit. I wasn't that into Goldeneye. I was the maybe the wrong age. I think we discussed I was like seven when it came out. So yeah, I, I still think gone. that's just because you're a shit child. Mm, like that is yeah. I, I, I was gaming on a NES at like the age of six. And if, if I wasn't playing I like the original Grand Theft Auto, I was playing the original Grand Theft Auto with my Hot Wheels cars. Like OG, mate. I was making my own rules up. <laughs> DM before DMing. <laughs> um, the other thing was uh, in 007 news rumored henry cavell the next 007 sounds like Means a strange rumor might mm. get some actual fucking lines in a movie for once maybe nah um all i need is grunts <laughs> and the occasional fuck yeah. just, <laughs> and he'll just, just say just shaken and then the bartender will finish the rest of the sentence off yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> the only line um, in the movie is he just says bond <laughs> and, just for and then they're like james bond they're just always did finishing you know, his man. sentence <laughs> did you guys ever see well i don't remember which one it, it might have been sean connery the 007 but in no. japan <laughs> no. Nah. nah just to get all weave on it uh it, okay so it has not aged well at fucking all yeah it's so pretty much none racial <laughs> oh dude so it's all just there. white people with sticky tape <laughs> no 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 it's not oh it's wow. i was gonna say really it is <laughs> but, oh. but, but he goes to spy and infiltrate them by doing that <laughs> no. and they and they, they montage <laughs> film. I, I, you know what you know what let's um time out the podcast i'll find the clip and we'll come back to give a reaction one hour later well that was funny wow yeah. that was hilarious thank you so much for that uh, definitely uh, uh, totally uh, uh. genuine clip that we definitely saw uh, uh, <laughs> it's really uh, uh, hard uh. to find apparently the creators of james bond are trying to bury the shit out of it but uh <laughs> if you do have some spare time in your hands look up sean connery trying to look japanese it's quite funny it's very dated it's not going to be done sean, in the movie sean any day connery soon. turning japanese <laughs> yeah yeah no that oh, was that fucking was... rough as the guts. only person more oh. dated than that movie is justin wow that's rude but also probably correct yes <laughs> uh all right so hot topic number two Wh- which one are we going to because we had three hot topics where we Man, going? you take your pick son all right well let, let... I just need a fucking checkered flannel and I'm good. I can go get a job there. <laughs> Let, let's go with let's go with the brief one. This is a shit joke. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking spastic. Yeah, yep, and yeah. that's cut. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's cut. Jeez. So let's go with a quick Can't one. Say that, Justin. Ten years ago, Borderlands Two hit shelves. Borderlands Wait. Two changed our is, lives forever. Well. It did. <laughs> um, yeah, I fucking love Borderlands 2. Um, yep. Hands down, my favorite Borderlands game. Um, I finished it twice, back to back, within like a week of launch. Yeah. Um, I was just, yeah, I love that game. It's fucking yep. as close to perfect as you can get with that style of like looter shooter. It's not even a style of game I really care for, but it's just the perfect mix of fun fun like funny content mm. and just good jokes i think the fact that they had so many guns too you didn't have to get hung up on like like destiny and stuff like that like just you know really needing that one gun 
you because it was just a random you know you just never knew what you were going to get it's like cool we got that well that's cool <laughs> borderlands nerds are pretty fucking specific like yeah did you ever hear true. about things like the b that was apparently really broken i don't know the specifics of it because i could never fucking get one but um <laughs> the b was <laughs> this <of> borderlands nerds <laughs> it was a specific shield that um could amplify shots and there was a way to make it pretty much like quadruple your damage output and so it would just yeah. trivialize everything huh but it was really hard to get a proper drop of it. The B was fucking cool. But having a bajillion guns was actually really fucking cool. Like, yeah, I, I never felt like I was needing to find that meta gun. Like, I never felt yeah. like I needed the B. I just, like, if I ever tried to get it, it was just because, you know, fuck it. Why not just find it? Yeah. But yeah, it was never anything like that. And like all the like really funny, weird stuff you usually got through like story missions, like the Bane, if you guys ever saw that, which is a gun that screams every time you shoot it. Oh yeah. yeah and it yeah. also slows your before. movement. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Shit like that. Yeah. Fucking, but yeah, it was a brilliant game and it introduced Tiny Tina, who is like one of the greatest characters in video gaming history. Yeah. Yeah, she was a real cool character in that in that first appearance, you know. Yeah. Nah, very good. Definitely. Yeah, unless you got much to add, Justin. No, not really. Say, it was just no, a sick I, game. Like and it was and just good. All, yeah. The other thing was the the extra points you could get. I can't remember what they were called. Um after the game, like the additional things you could get to build up your stats even more. Oh, what were the... they called? The badass points yes possible yeah 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 Yeah. so that was also really cool so that really brought the game to a much longer playability if you really wanted to get into it and start doing all of that that and was then like you had insane. like they started releasing the extra vault hunter modes like basically new game plus new game plus yeah. plus and so on and those got insane mm -hmm. like i remember trying the like new game plus equivalent i think that was just called uh true vault hunter mode or something or ultra vault i think hunter it was mode. true vault hunter that sounds familiar I, I, yeah i can't remember well i'm gonna jump back yeah. into that now we've been talking about yeah, that yeah. Sure. i'm gonna have to download it <laughs> that's yeah, it again can we do cross play <laughs> um but yeah now yeah, we'll just have a break while we finish borderlands 2 again we'll be right back yeah back and we're five. back <laughs> <laughs> i did it i finished it dagger only whatever oh jesus <laughs> dagger only just go around <laughs> punching people <laughs> just get it edited Can with I... like you hitting things with claptrap <laughs> well, that works i i'm actually curious if i could do that i'm gonna just download punches it only just... I think, no, I think the initial one like... character that has a um blade for their melee. Do, yeah, it doesn't yeah, 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 definitely. Oh, not in the in the second one. I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh the sharpshooter has one. Possibly, yeah. I don't know. Zero might. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I was thinking. But anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. Thank you, Borderlands, for all you do, except for Borderlands Three. So what? maybe Borderlands just... Three was great. It was alright. Borderlands, no, Borderlands pre sequel two. was bad. Yeah. I just think they, they need to look at Borderlands 2 and just go, hey, what worked? Because obviously people are really loving it still to this day. Yeah. Why I, was it better than one? Why was three worse than two? Like what worked so well in number two? Aside from even just the characters and stuff, what was it that really set that game apart? And they need to find that magic and capture it. Absolutely. I completely agree. If, if they can find that secret formula because like i think it's sort of like a bit like uh the batman arkham series right they released their first game and then they like realized what made people like the game and then they just expanded on that yeah. granted arkham knight was a bit average and the one that rocksteady didn't actually do i think that was origins was a bit average too but everything Rocksteady did aside from Arkham Knight was pretty much spot on to their formula and it was fantastic because of it. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. And they just need to stick with what they've got and make it enjoyable because Tiny Tina's was pretty good. Yeah. But I struggled a bit with it. Even though yeah. I love Tiny Tina and I love D&D, &D, 
Yeah. They still didn't quite get back to that moment that they, you know, they began with, with Borderlands 2 DLC. Like I it, appreciate it the effort not, though. Right. Like I'm a big fan of people just being like, here's something that doesn't exist. Maybe people don't like it, but we're making it for, because we want to see it out there and hopefully people love it. Yeah. yeah. And I know people still who, doing them. who absolutely love um, Tiny Tina's and that's great. Fucking good on you. Yeah. But uh, yeah. It's I don't know. Yeah, it's just probably not for me. Well, something something a little that. clunky and just not so great about it that just didn't fly with me. Just didn't yeah. vibe as as well as the There's, old one. There is another game we're getting into tonight, though. I believe oh, there is. If we have time, oh, 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 oh boy, there's at least ninety different uh, things that have come out about this game in the last. Does anyone have a thirty-six towel? hours? Because boy, I'm leaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> About a hundred thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin leaking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so those who haven't caught on GTA six is uh the uh topic we're going over. Now the leak part is kind of interesting, but I more want to talk about what was leaked, which ultimately like it looks genuine enough that I would be happy to say that this is going to be GTA 6, right? I think the reason we, we know it's genuine is because they freaked out so quickly over it and removed it so fast. Mm. That's what makes me feel like it's genuine. Otherwise, they could just be like, that's not our shit. Well, you idiots. Th that's one thing that I thought, like, so I've only watched like three or four clips because it's all just random shit. Um, but one clip I saw was in a restaurant and it's like a robbery type thing. I was like, oh, yeah, fair enough. But this could literally be pretty much anything at this point. Like, that could have been what Saints Row was supposed to look like before it they went to shit. It up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah like, it could, like, it didn't have anything that made it scream, this is GTA 6. The one thing that was a big tell, though, was I saw a clip where someone was getting on a metro line, yeah, and there was all the advertising <laughs> for being metro. by sitting metro, yeah. Right? And it makes sense that they would choose Vice City because four was um, Liberty City and five was San Andreas, so you've only got Vice City left unless yeah. you go London. No, um, I don't think they're ever going to go there. <laughs> no, well, not since the one that they already did. <laughs> yeah. But everyone wants to forget that. Um, but yeah, so like, looks kind of cool. I'm just a bit disappointed that we're going to lose my, like one of my favorite parts of the original Vice City and of Vice City as it was featured in GTA 1 is the neon lights and like. Yeah, okay. So the that, 80s vibe. Yeah, that very like glitz and glamour fucking. Yeah. I'm not too sure why they didn't vibe. go back. Like, why did they stick with the whole modern look to this? Unless they do, unless they haven't, you know, finished any of that. Like, because we saw a very unfinished version of like events that will likely only come out in 2023, 24, probably roughly, I think was the, the mm. estimate. Like, mm. these are a long way off. Maybe they just haven't entered any of that stuff like you know the store clerks the restaurant clerks that you're talking about that were being robbed didn't even have faces they were just you know faceless things handing over cash but i think what is a cool concept is the bonnie and clyde style um players that you've got um that story is yeah. that looks pretty cool i think so i have thoughts on that yeah <laughs> i fucking hated that about gta 5 i fucking loathed having to change characters the three guys yeah really fucking shit me I to it was different you know it, it was different but different isn't good <laughs> like, like, just wanted to be one guy uh, yeah i don't give a shit which one of them i would be any of them is fine i quite liked all of their stories i think i preferred trevor's because that come was wild like he's yeah, just he was unhinged insane. <laughs> yeah but um, like i don't know what, what, what would you prefer then having to play the game three times to play the three different characters yes in that case really absolutely i don't know Sonic i think they, they did something pretty different and like the heists and shit were like pretty cool where you where you literally like 
doing the spotting from outside. You're the getaway driver and you're the guy inside the building at the same time. Yeah, like, that's but pretty like, sick. But that's all. Like, think of how much replayability you could have. Yeah, going I was back say. and being like, because you know, because you're a little fangirl for those Sonic Adventure games, they do the same <laughs> thing. Sonic Adventure is the same fucking game from the perspective of like all the different characters in the game. That and just sounds like you're trying to read Twilight twice. I was like, it just sounds like shit. No, no, no. So, what? What no, no. the fuck are you so, talking about? So, okay, like, let's the look Twilight at The Twilight books, and then they brought them out with the like the perspective of the fucking vampire instead. Yeah, except the Twilight books were shit from the start. And he's so like, what's the exactly fuck, the same. Get out of here. God, God damn, man. It was a perfect like analogy episodes. for anyone who understands English. No, no. no, no, no one, one who gives a shit about <laughs> that. It was a terrible idea, and it was really poorly like received as well. And it's fairly recent. Shit. It's a book aimed at teenage girls. Calm the fuck yeah, which is exact- watching us. <laughs> 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 no, you, you know those TV show episodes where you see a series of events leading up to usually like a, a big conclusion and then like it stops Life short. of Springfield or whatever episode where it's like all yeah, the short stories yeah, from yeah. all the characters and you but see it's just one day in yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what those Sonic games are like and that's what I do think would be kind of cool in this setting. Like I, the movie I, Love really Actually, fun. where all you have their no stories idea. come together. Like, imagine that same like heist situation <laughs> you're describing. Imagine if your first playthrough, I mean, it doesn't matter who it is, but say you're the getaway driver. <laughs> you're just, you just sitting in a it. fucking car waiting. <laughs> well, and then they come, come out and you're like, oh, for you I guess we do. go. They'd have something for you to do. Like someone comes past. And, and garbage like, truck comes and he's like, hey, tree. pal, you better, you, 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 yeah. you better move your car because I got to empty this uh, this here <laughs> that, trash. That, and then you yeah. drive around the block and then you park back there and you're like, oh, that was eventful. And then they get back in the car. <laughs> but the <laughs> others get in the car covered in blood and you're like, what the fuck? And they're like, we'll tell you later. And then you don't find out till you go play. Yeah, story. like that's cool and all, but they've done that. They've done it so many times. I think when? what they when? like not GTA specific, but other games have done that before. Sonic, like yeah, but so <laughs> uh, I think <laughs> Near Automata did the same thing. I've uh, only heard I because been able to play I, Nier I, yet. I, I struggle with Near, but all I the same, play it, but I, still I believe it. Yeah. It uh, it does that. Um, there are a few games that have done that, but I don't think there's anything in that genre. Of like I think the... it would suit that genre really well. well I don't know so. if in, in this GTA 6 thing that we actually saw that you could change, like switch players. I don't know if I actually saw that Snatch. happen. Snatch. That yeah. is a good fucking movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. It is a good fucking movie. It it did that, right? Or I am I crazy? Anymore, but I well, sort well. of. But like we're getting like we're talking about GTA, GTA 5 now. We're like we're meant to be talking about GTA 6. So, so okay, like... so let's go back to this, right? <laughs> so, like lost in the fucking point. rabbit hole of conversation. Yeah, yeah, we're fucking down in the source right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, so like so, back in GTA 2, <laughs> that was a good game. That was that was that was the best of the uh, the the 2D worlds. That's for sure. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, uh, but sick. but yeah. So we do see two playable characters. So this yeah, could yeah, yeah, be a two player? like a sign of like a co-op option. Maybe Which I'm I'm totally cool on that option. Like if you and I just jump on and we're like, let's do some heists. Cool. That's yeah. great. Um, but I, I think that the only part could... I think we wouldn't enjoy is if the if the co-op is always on. So then the co-op is constantly on and the other person is then AI yeah. if they're not players, and then they're just those dumb fucking I AIs that you end up tripping over in front of doorways. In those Ooh. fucking games. Yeah. They're supposed th- to be helping, but they're more of a hindrance because they're in your way and you're just shooting them. You're like, get the fuck out of my line of sight. I get think out of there. GTA are pretty, like Rockstar have been pretty good with that. In Yeah. Like even, right. like I've been replaying GTA 4 lately and even then like dealing with missions where you've got other people, they take cover, they stay the fuck out of the way. So I would say Rockstar would do an all right job. Mm. I think my biggest concern is that ever since GTA 4, they've been taking further and further steps away from like all the things I loved about the older GTAs. And that is like just the silly things and the like semi-subtle, but also sort of in your face humor that it has. And it's getting more into this sort of like dark, gritty, um, 
like life of crime style story mm. rather than like just a silly revenge story based around organized crime and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You might be right there. We'll see what they do with the storyline. Like, but I think that there's definitely some, some good little inside jokes and stuff that they have already released there in, in all of that stuff. Um, yeah, I saw quite a lot of like di- different like puns and stuff. I just can't remember them. There's like so many different yeah. threads out there. People Trust just Justin frantically trying to like, Oh he yeah, they were great. Busy thinking about <laughs> mowing his lawn to remember them. Oh, that's already done, man. That's done. That's in the bag. So, yeah, um, yeah. So I think it 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 was all pretty good stuff, but we're still so far away from seeing it actually come out. But yeah. old mate Hacker is like just being like chased down by like every rock star employee. I'm sure, like well, they are just on his trail. So and you... I have. How did he like actually hack to find? So I have no idea. That is a pretty impressive feat without him getting caught. Like, who's recording this footage? Yeah, yeah. Because unless that, they're just, I don't know, like friends recording it for friends or whatever. Like, you well, know, that, you never that's know what you'll that's find. the thing, right? Is that like a lot of these leaks usually come from like QA and testing and stuff. Yeah. So someone in testing is like, oh. I'm working on GTA six. So I'll just get out my phone and I'll record the, or, you know, something like that. Yeah. And then it leaks out that way. Um, There's just so to much. actually hack in and find footage seems super weird. Like, cause yeah, I don't know. It, you never know. I mean, there's, you know, there's three out of three of us are talking about it right now. All my other friends are talking about it right now. Could just be a rock star ploy, you know, like just a really clever, Act- like, well, you know, yeah, oh shit, like, we got hacked. You know, get the hype up. <laughs> I actually well, did have a. We thing. talked about Deadpool doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Release. Yep, exactly. So it's probably not the first or the last time this will happen, but you know yeah. that could be a thing. Well, um, like it, it makes sense because like we even have in our basement discourse topics talking about the death of GTA Five and how they're clinging on to it with their well, weird they monetization and that. Shit only less than a week ago that gta 5 was not going to have any new content coming out so we are talking about the death so this could be the signed papers basically yeah the big the big sayonara and the you know that people was all of a sudden start forgetting about gta 5 and start thinking towards GTA don't worry 6. There'll, there'll be a remaster next year it'll be fine yeah no doubt <laughs> <laughs> be fine but you can only you can only use half the features on like your fucking fridge Oh, Skyrim just got an update, like Fuck this yeah. week. Yeah, get on it, boys. Jeez Louise, what? they've added six new yeah. fishing rods. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. No, it was like in- bug fixes and everything. Rods. Like they're still fixing the game. It's like, man, you can dude, catch bugs now in don't. Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, they become that the bait joke on was the a fishing fucking rod. win. I'm keeping that one. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah no, no, I'm not if you that are one. not. <laughs> If you are not, you must subscribe. Otherwise, we will send Jace to your house and he'll do no. nothing but just stand there and look awkward. And then we'll send you random gross sweaters from Justin. My oldest That's, that's actually true. If I don't know people, I will just stand around and be really fucking awkward. I am, <laughs> I, I am terrible in social Tried situations. <laughs> like I really am. So am I. It's... I remember going to Brady's birthday and I sat in the corner reading his D&D books. He so. did. But also... <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have gone to Brady's birthday. Fuck that guy. You've got two, choice... <laughs> you got two choices with Jace. You've got stands around awkward or is like, fuck that guy. Yeah. So take your pick. Either way, subscribe to the goddamn channel and we'll see you soon.